Welcome back, everybody, to Late Night Stotsy 42. Is that me? I don't like hearing that. Let's take a look at what we got here today. Welcome in, Lanwas, Reels, everybody here for tonight. Great to see all of you. I need to just get the game audio situated. That's two of me. And USB. There we go. Beautiful. Welcome in, Rage, all you fantastic raiders. Lanky B's wife, how's it going? Raid frame one, yeah, I was just uh, hanging with them for about 45 minutes. Welcome in, everybody. Moist, you legend. Rage, Hydro, Alpha, those random people that were in there. Good to see all of you. Hey, it's good to see all of you. No, no, no. I'm just here for this late night absolute beauty. So I can spread the love to you. Random people. No, no, no. Not you. Not you, Laura. I've seen you around before. I have not seen you, JME. Welcome in. Good to see you. Everybody. No, no, no. I've seen you around before, Laura. I don't know where from, but I have. Trust me, I'm not slandering you. JME, though. That is a face that I've not seen. But that is actually really cool. Because I love seeing new people in. So welcome in. Hope you enjoy the atmosphere. What's up, sir? Not too shabby, man. Hope you're doing nice. Alpha with uh, the nice prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Rage done a good word. Yeah, that makes sense. I've heard a lot from a lot of people about Rage. Trust me. You don't want to hear stuff. Oh, you cheek. Where's the lobby? He's mastered reels, I'm afraid. I, I believe lobby will not be making an appearance today. Unlike the rest of you, Fantastic Legends. Always love having you in. And it was really fun hanging out with you all in VC. I hope to do it again. <laughs> oh, you too. I think I can see the dynamic already. 
First time chat from Yasmos. Gosh, slopping. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna assume it means, hey, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Great to see you. And I reciprocate the same thing. Always nice to see a new person. Great to see you. He doesn't say stop see you see this. I'm seeing everything you're saying, bud. Bitch, gosh slopping bitch. What is it? What is going on? <coughs> Pen name? What the fuck is happening? Okay. Well, I'm glad I designated this as a non VOD channel stream. So then I can cuss you all out if you need to. Ban the war for gifted sub. If somebody gifts a sub, then they deserve it. Who actually did Alpha gift it to? Let me take a scroll up. And see. I'm not gonna ban anybody. Nobody? Ban them. Oh, he, he subscribed himself. Waiting for the better PC to download this game. Dude, if you do, you can join me through fucking Chicken Scratch. And hoping. Because this friend system is ass. You can ask Alpha. We were trying for at least two and a half hours total to get this game working. And it just doesn't work on PC if you want to friend somebody on Steam Deck. So, I'm playing on Xbox because this is actually manageable and is a real platform that's not filled with fucking stupid friend request. Yeah. I'm gonna sleep. See you next time. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Laura as well. Yes, Moss, both of you. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Good to see everybody. And I'm hoping that I see you next time. We've just got a light, late night stream. I didn't really expect to be doing this. Sleep well. Yeah, take it easy. Is that another follow? Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't see these until I look up. I should really turn up the sound. Shouldn't I? Sweet, yeah, if I, uh, if I hear anybody follow, I'll fucking hear it now. Am I from the U.S.? Nope, I am from slightly above the U.S. Good old maple syrup, laser-eyed moose land. It's a nice enough spot, except for right now. I went outside earlier and it was minus 10 degrees Celsius wind chill. Which was not very nice, was it? I'm like, yeah, Canadian, thank you, thank you. I like to think that where I hail from is alright. We've got decent people, but I, I really, really wish that we had America's temperature. I don't want to deal with this minus 12 fucking wind chill, dude. It's January 4th. I, I don't want that. Thanks for coming into VC and in stream. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Always fun to be around you, Rage. You know you're a good lad. And I'll do it again in a heartbeat. He got down those. Anyone not following Rage, Alpha, anyone here who streams actually, even if I don't know. Much appreciated. No worries, dude. I don't care if it's you calling somebody drunk. I will still shout you out to everybody. So. Please, follow these people. These fantastic streamers. They're amazing people. And they're a part of this great community. Yeah, the shouty for rage. Exactly. Don't forget to do it for yourself too, Alpha. When you get the chance. I'm out of here. <laughs> Bugger off! Ain't that right. Wait. Hello, dickhead. How do you like that fire damage? You prick. <laughs> Did I read it? Yeah, I read it in my head. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Reels clapping me in magic. I don't know if magic, other than like an arena sort of thing, would be very interactive, would it? Garden Warfare, you can just say, hey, anybody comes in, and then they come in. And either they can play, or they can realize what's happening, right? 
if you if you if we're playing magic and some random person comes in that's never seen magic, they're not going to know for one single second what in fresh hell was going on. You think about that, right? It's about accessibility, yeah. That's why I don't stream Yu-Gi-Oh anymore either. Because there's just so many people that don't know what's happening, including myself. And then you hop on, what, Garden Warfare, right? Somebody's watching it for at least two minutes. They can assume, hey, the zombies are trying to shoot the plants. If they do it, that's a good thing. And then they continue on their lives. It's a pretty general goal, philosophy, even. Oh, shit. We're a little bit, uh, cornered. <coughs> Oop! Get his ass! Sweet. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, Rose. Forgot. Hit her a few times, she goes into arcane. Isn't it? Nope, she dies! Kill yourself. I'm kidding. Right, guys. We would never say to somebody to kill themselves. Unless their name is Bonkley and they're talking to me. How's everybody doing, though? I know there's a lot of raiders still in here from alphas. And raises. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm used to saying alphas. But a lot of fantastic raiders still in here. Great to see all of you. I know Moist was in here, Hydro, Alpha, Raid. Bunch of great lads, though I would love to know how the night's going at 4.12 in the morning. Really not a very nice time. I don't know what you're still doing awake. But I respect it. Going to sleep. It's 4 a.m. I need to sleep. I'll drop a follow. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. Love to see you. You seem like a very nice chap. So, I hope to see you another time. And yeah, get, get some rest. Thank you very much for that follow. I actually heard it that time. Shocker, shocker, I know. But yeah, thank you very much. Rest up. I know it's pretty late. So, you take it real easy. It's early for me, so I hope to stream for a while. Don't know too much. I'm not feeling it too much tonight. Well, yep, as always, take it easy. Hope to catch you in another. Thank you, as do you. I'll stop by another time. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. It would be my pleasure to see you in here another time. What time is it for me? It is currently 1.13 p.m. Not very late at all. I could certainly make do with going on stream for like two hours. Yeah, it's early. That's what a uh, five hour time zone difference does. Doesn't it? <laughs> oh, well. Min no, it's, it's just minus five. No, minus 15. 11 p.m., might I say. So early into the night. I apologize if I uh, put you off of that. Just a minus five. Oh, no, I thought you said, no, no, sorry, my bad. It is 11 p.m. My apologies. No, 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 I, I probably should have enunciated clearer. Don't worry about it. Either way, enough blabbering. You gotta get your sleep, man. Take it real easy. Oh, shoot, that's a teammate. 
Just because it's 11 p.m. doesn't mean I can't be tired. <laughs> my god. Right, maybe I shouldn't shoot my teammates. That'd be a good idea. Don't worry, I thought some birds of Canada were minus 5, some were minus 8, so I was confused. Yeah, I'm on East Coast, so that is minus 5. West Coast is usually minus 8, and then there's some random ones outside of it. Believe it or not, one of the furthest most east areas of Canada has a half hour difference time zone. Half hour, yeah, that's right. I don't know why. I don't know why they did it. Did they do it to be quirky? I have no absolute clue. But like, say it's 8.15 for me. No, 11.15, my bad. It would be like 12.45 for them. I have no idea why. It's really, really weird. Maybe I should look into that. What's the point? It's half an hour, right? What the hell is the difference? Just, just either do one hour or the next. If you're that close, what's the matter? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Jesus. I don't know who made that law, but it's been a while. I will have to look into that. Because that bothers me. Surely I- what the- if, if you would explain what that is, I will consider it. Though, do recall the possibility of me buying a video game. Chances are usually rather slim. Oh shit. Come on. Good night, enjoy the rest of your stream, thank you very much. Take it easy. Sleep within the next half hour, or I am coming to your home and forcing melatonin underneath your tongue. Take care. Same to you. Take it easy. Hopefully I'll be live soon to catch you again. Peace. Reels, from what you've said, I'm imagining Battle Block. As in, of the theater variety. Would I be wrong in assuming it's close? Oh wow, I'm very wrong with assuming it's close. Okay. PvP shooter game with three different player amounts, which are 32v32, 64v64. Why 127 and not 128? Wouldn't that be the common multiple? Prox chat. Like proximity is, and you can talk to people close. Interesting. Hmm. How much is it? I will also have to look up gameplay before I would buy it. Because this is very, very clearly an online game. So there'd be no use in me performing my usual methods, would it? Woo! I'll take one kill, I'll do it. I've made it. Did we start on the first point? Did I join at the start of the game? If we did, I've been playing four points and I only just realized I'm playing Engineer. And I have no idea why. Well, thank you, Reels. Very good time to, to mention the game after it's done going on sale. But I will still look into it in case it goes on sale again soon. Thank you. Fire upgrade after I die? And it's like overtime? <laughs> cool. Yeah, we have one... Yeah, we're toast. There was one guy on the point. He was not winning that. One zombie and seven plants. I don't think we had a chance. There are classes, like TF2, Garden Warfare style, or like Battlefront style. Either way, that is that is pretty cool. Battlefront 2, I would have liked to have seen a bit more variety, though. Like, you very much have your dedicated, here's your decent HP, 
rusher, that sort of thing, right? And they can do mid-range, they can do close. And then you have your tank who can do mid to close. You have your officer who can support everybody. And then you have specialist, right? He's the sniper, he's your trip mine, he's your everything. And that's it for the main classes. It just seems really streamlined and like there's not much extra that they did with it. Sure, they made it up with the uh, the extra types. Like you, you can summon this aerial attack character who's, who's got a bit more health than the normal ones and has incredible mobility. And a rocket launcher, but overall, they're very similar to the assault class. And then they have this tank class, which is like 400 HP. It's, it's, it's pretty neat. I, I do love the game. It's just, I do also have my gripes with its systems. Assault, medic, and G-scout support. Yeah, sounds about what I expected. Recon, normal, group, vehicle. These are in, like, the big modes. Because, I mean, you, you just mentioned the vehicle. I'm going to assume it's a slightly li a larger mode than normal. Just, you know, going off the top of my head, right? Vehicles are usually pretty big and balanced around, like, 32 plus people. I'm not going to peek too much. Some dude is going to mess me up first strike. Or I'm gonna hit him once. That's cool too. Depends on the map. Gotcha, gotcha. <coughs> hey, come here. Hey, I want healed master too, buddy. Yeah! Get that ass banned! You thought you could out -peak me, motherfucker? You're just a soldier, mate. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fine, I'll eat my words. Don't worry, I'm realizing early into the game that I am... Sunflower. This isn't some random realization like, hey, why am I playing Sunflower? No, I'm doing this because I need to I need to play them. So I can level them up. Because I think that they're the character I need the most. Thank you, I will hydrate in a moment. But yeah, they're currently the character that I need leveled up the most for all their variants. I think I need like five or six left. And the rest of the characters are like between zero and four. So, let, let's just say Sunflower's a little bit behind. We're doing alright, though, I think. You know, the 41st rank plate. We're coming along well. I'm just trying to get most characters to advanced. Other than legendaries I don't own. Check out the game on Steam. It's like Battlefield. Come on, peek. Peek. Bitch. Oh? Oh yeah? Shoot. Not god graphics. Oh! <laughs> okay. Please tell me I'm not the only one that scared the shit out of. I'm alright with that. As long as they don't look like aged PS1 graphics. I'm fine with, for the record, I'm fine with PS1 graphics. As long as they're stylized, right? Crash Bandicoot looks amazing. Uh, Klonoa looks great. But it's when they're like, it's when they try and look realistic, but they're on PS1 that irks me. That era. Right, like, I don't like how Goldeneye looks. I don't, because the faces are like three polygons. But they're still trying to go like, hey, this is a real, realistic texture. Like, cool, the wall is 12 kilobytes. I don't really know what they want. I just don't really get the direction. Like, sure, it might have looked decent to people at the time. But when I'm playing Goldeneye original now, I'm just thinking, wow, this did not age well. 
Gameplay's great, again, if they just stylized the graphics, it might it might have looked beautiful, right? But it, it's, it just depends on presentation. Simple as. Let me put it this way. Alright. Go on, brother. Freeze your facts. Oh! Hello. Where are you going? <laughs> 127 viewers on Twitch. Okay, here is my question. How does this sway my reasoning to play it at all? Honest. Like, truly. What is the thought process? I'm not, like, there's no snark behind this. I'm just wondering, would the, why would this make me want to play it more? Or why would it sway my opinion on it? Truly, I would play a game if I had zero. I do. I play Mega Man 5 and nobody watches that. I would play a game with 10,000. I don't know, like 127's good. Don't get me wrong, that's really cool. Good for the game. You must be like at least decently popular. But... Yeah. Oh! Shit! Mech! Mech! Lower viewership means more likely to come into stream. <coughs> Fair enough. I, I, I like... I like I like the idea. I do. That's good. That's uh, that's better than I thought you were going to go with it. So, I respect it. I do. I was honestly thinking that was pretty high viewership for the stuff I play. Let me see. I'll just click on edit. There's currently 52 people watching Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. We find a decent amount of new people. And I'm perfectly okay with it because I mostly play this game for fun. And I'm sure I would be playing Battle Pit. I don't know, I thought I thought you'd be talking about, like, how it was high viewership. And being like, compared to the normal games you play, this would probably get you more exposure. Which is also a fair standpoint. I won't stand against that. That's just kind of what I thought was going to come out. Which, I mean, uh, what, what you did say was better. So, oh, how much health do you have? Oh, there we go. A little twat. Shit. <laughs> okay, 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 fine. I get it, I get it. You don't have to wombo combo my butthole. How's it going, Moist? No, I don't want that smoke. I'll just stay up here. Thank you. Sweet. Oh. Dead? Yep. He was really far back. I don't know if you guys know the maps. 
But for reference, I was on the rooftop, and he was pretty much back at his spawn. Just, you know, so you know how far he sniped me with Astronaut. That was, wow. How did he even see me? He's like way in the back of there, and I was up here. He's like at the far back. Okay, buddy. Okay. Thank you for the hydrate. We just we just have normal water tonight. <sighs> Nothing fancy. Just water. Not the coho. It is not. I've got some fresh ass water. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be grabbing some more in a little bit. I almost just drank the entire bottle. And yeah, I'm still a little bit thirsty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight is just a night of chill. We don't worry about it. This one isn't even going on the Vaughn's channel either. I just figured everybody could come in, chill out, we talk about whatever, and then nobody's gonna hear about it ever again. <coughs> Tonight is that night you can talk about weird shit, and the world will never ever know. Is there a train? Nope. I'm not committing traffic violations today. How about in 10 seconds? Oh! He was like, way away! Thought we were playing a game of magic. In all fairness, weren't you messaging me about magic cards? At oh, like, 2.30 in the morning, you sent this one card that was busted as shit. I don't think he can really blame me. I don't remember why you called. Boy, who the he Oh, sorry. Yep, my bad. <coughs> I should have been healing. I have not been healing enough. This game for Sunflower. Just wanted to talk at 2, 2.30 in the morning. Fair enough. But also, okay. Alright, peculiar, isn't it? Did I relook at them? I remember looking at them, like, the morning after, and just being like, wow, okay, th this card is just as fucked up as I remember it. Like, it, that, it was absolutely no joke. I don't want to fight that card, ever. Please do not make a deck with it. Ever. Like, from the bottom of my heart, please. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Did you make one? <laughs> Boy. Please. Tell me you've spared my bloodline. Please. Please. Oh! Hello. Yeah, the left and right, that stupid one that you sent me from the YouTube show, that is right. And it just completely subverts all magic rules. <laughs> Left and right, that was wild. Thank you, thank you for that, like, quick reminder. That was fucking stupid. It's like the person who plays the card can choose between left and right. 
I just... I can play Raging River for both sides of river. I didn't... I don't remember Raging River. I remember the one that separates the board into two sides. That is the one I remember. <coughs> oh, shit. Who, who, who's shooting me? Oh, there he is. My doom. Ha! Shit. Raging Ra Was that the one that splits it into two? You're, you're just confusing me at this point, I won't lie to you. But it, either way, it was still, like, stupid. And just completely bypassed everything I'd ever learned about magic. Ooh, you go, buddy! Oh, res. Res, res, res. Oh, no! Sorry, brother. You will live to die another day. Raging River's different. How? Was that not the one that you sent me? Oh, oh. I might be in the cutscene. Ooh. Keep walking. Yeah, that was me! I died. You're so <laughs> plummeting into the lava. That was me. Say hello. You're on TV. All right, the reels. I see the DM. Just a second. A raging river. Oh yeah, that's wild. I mean, the fact that it only applies to non-flying is a bit of a... Could be a matchup check. But, I mean, who's really running all flying in their deck? Not, not many people. So that... That is, yeah. As I thought, that was, uh, fucked up. Little bit stupid. Another card splits the game to left and right, so two lane splits. Fuck's sake. Who designed these? Oh, shoot. Why was I playing power? I forgot that I have alien and vampire at level eight. Shit, dude. What was I doing? You're a little shithead, Z7. What are you gonna do now? You're gonna retreat? Because you got first strike? Fucking wanker. Yeah, 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 that, that, that's right, go behind the wall. You unloved little pig. Sorry, sorry. I should keep my composure. It's just this guy's a little tit. That's all. Oh, he's still there. Yeah, yeah. There's another two white mana card that makes you play a sub... Yes, yes, I've seen that. I've seen that. Somebody played that on me. At the local shop. Four... Four-ish years ago. I just stopped. I said, yeah, you have the game. Two white men. It was like taking half my deck and shit. 
And then you have to like put it all back. There are just some magic cards that I always wonder like who actually made this? And on top of that, who hurt them enough to make this? That's a mech. This is the little shoot. He's not a Z7, he's a Drake. Let me look up what that card did. I'm 110% certain this guy whipped it out. Yeah, wasn't it like taking half of your deck, playing a mini game of magic, and then whoever won got an advantage in the main game? Yeah, I, I just at that point said, "Have fun. I'm not. I'm not playing that." <laughs> yeah, they lose half their life. Round it up. Dude, if they lose this little mini game of magic that takes place using only their library. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't blame my past self for not playing that. The guy thought it was some huge flex too for owning this card that was made to piss people off. I'm dead. GG. Oh, no, 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 no. This team is stacked. I think I'm going to switch off. Sunflower. Purely because, like, this is not the matchup. At all. Uh, Camo is not, <laughs> either. It's, it, it, I'm, I'm not doing, I'm not putting myself through Camo. Maybe Bandit. There's a couple goofy cards, yeah. Isn't there one where it just makes you play Rock, Paper, Scissors? Mid-game. That one I'm cool with, because it's like a five second thing. Or the one where you have to play a whole ass sub game. That's stupid. <coughs> like who actually thought about that? I'm so fine with the rock, paper, scissors one. In fact, I encourage it. When I used to use scheming symmetry, where I could make two target players, including myself, which I would always do, look for one of any card in, in their deck, right? And if I was playing with two people, which I usually was, I would say, hey, you two, rock, paper, scissors, whoever wins gets to look for a card in their deck. And simple as, that was how I did it, right? I'm getting something cool, and it doesn't matter who else gets it. So, if you guys are playing, just rock, paper, scissors. Simple as. Easy clap. There's a card where you flip in the air and where it lands goes into the graveyard. <laughs> I've heard, I've definitely heard about that one too. My God, I I'd never heard about that left and right shit that you sent the other day, but I have heard about that one. I don't recognize the name. Lava drip though, it's banned. Yeah, you know what? That makes sense because you could just, if you're a master flipper, you could just flip it onto their like seven seven commander or whatever like. They're great worm. Just completely destroyed their entire field in one stroke. And didn't it count for multiple cards as well? Like, if the corner of the card was on one creature and the other corner was on another, and both would get banished. Or graveyard. Yeah, graveyard, my bad. It was, it was just like, why? 
Make it count for one and it's manageable. But like, if, if you can make it land on... Yeah, whatever card's touching it dies. Exactly. So, no matter what you're doing, if you say, like, your opponent's got a bunch of them close together, right? Like, all of their best creatures are on the left. And then, by power, by proxy of tokens, right? Going to the right, they, uh, they lose. They, they go by lower toughness. You could have a bunch of 1-1 tokens on the right, and a 10-10, and a 7-7 on the left. You just flip your card, hit their 10-10 and their 7-7, and suddenly they lose. <laughs> What if they flick the card onto you? Do you lose 20 HP and die? I want to know. That should be legal. Thank you for the hydrate. I'll get up in a second uh, after this life and get more water. Raging, why is Raging River Le <laughs> Okay. <coughs> if it was floating creatures, I could maybe see it, but non-floating? Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I think... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get water. Right back. I was gonna make a goblin river deck commander. Well, if it's commander, good luck finding that card. This is a hundred unique cards. <laughs> Enjoy milling your deck looking for one river so then you can hopefully plan out your strategy. As long as I'm not playing a deck that has floating. So otherwise, all that long hard work you've done to get your river up. Is fruitless. Does this guy have an ammo upgrade? No, he's not high enough level. He's got reload. That's really not what I need right now, though. Black card for one mana. Yeah, I think that is uh, scheming symmetry. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was talking about before, where I uh, where I told people to rock paper scissors between it, because uh, you could make two target players search for it. Yeah, that's that's the card I use. It's really cool. I love it. Sam, th th thank, thank you for coming in, dude. What time is it for you, man? It's 4.48. Did you just wake up? Great to see you, dude. Always love having you in. We had a... Uh, we had, oh, that's right, isn't it? We had a raid from Rage earlier, and that had uh, Hydro, Moist, Alpha, Rage, of course. All the lads should be in here, still lurking. If they're not, I'm gonna bust their kneecaps. But, yeah, always good to see them. Not long woke up. You okay? Yeah, man, I'm not too shabby. How about yourself? It's, uh, 11.48 here. So I'm doing alright. I hope to be streaming for a decent bit. Oh, sh you little twat. Where, where was he? Was he up? Oh my god. You little dickhead. Other library search cards, they could put some draw ones too. Exactly, dude. You're just gonna be milling your deck. Until suddenly. Wow. 40 draws in. You got river. Woo. You just died to 1515. It's only boosted impervious great worm. Congratulations. <laughs> I feel like that's how half your games are gonna go.
Search for enchantment. Oh, shit. You're right. Searching for a specific thing is much easier than just, hey, search for any, any card. How are you doing, though, Sam? Good to see you. Again, another streamer. Great lad. If anybody here is not following him, which I believe that all of you are, please do. He is an absolute lad. Shit, I'm dead. Yo, welcome in, Labber, dude. Great to see you. Now, th this lad, he's another one who streams a decent bit. Well, I say decent. It's, it's once in a while. But he's fantastic. We've been buds for years. And I will always give him my seal of approval. Welcome in, dude. Hope you're well. How are you, my stop man? Not too shabby, man. Yourself? Oh. Sh Shit. $200, which is better for... Yeah, guys, Cradle's messed up, isn't it? Anytime I'd go onto this local site from, what was it, Montreal? Montreal, my bad. They would have guys' Cradle as, like, the top listing, because they would always sort by, uh, by price. I don't know why they do that. I don't think the most people hopping onto a trading card website casually go, Ah, oh, yeah, let me get the most expensive one. <laughs> I don't think that's a normal thing people do. Visiting a friend for three days. Sweet, dude. Is that, uh, is that close by? To, uh, to where you're living? So. Not so. Or is it a little bit further away? Didn't know you are into TCG. Not much anymore. But, uh, Reels has been getting me back into Magic. Last time I played Magic, or Pokemon for that matter, in real life, was four years ago before COVID hit. And since then I've just... I've just kind of... Only an hour? Yeah, that's not too bad. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Yeah, Black Lotus also is messed up. I think a heavily damaged version of Black Lotus is still three grand. It is messed up. People who buy that are author rocker. At that rate, my god, just print out a, uh... A piece of paper that says Black Lotus, that's it. <laughs> Print exactly, exactly, dude. I would not be going out paying that much. I would sleeve up a printed card. Just be like, oh, what are, what are you talking about? This, this, is, this is a real Black Lotus. You want to unsleeve it and find out? My cousin did that. I respect it, man. I was, I was considering doing that. Like, again, four years ago. Because I didn't want to have to pay for this $150 Sableye deck in the uh, current Sword and Shield meta at the time. It was a card that hadn't come out yet, so he printed it to try it. Oh, yeah. See, I, I do completely approve of that. Sure, maybe not using it at top competitive level, but casual, absolutely. Go ahead, print your cards. Maybe it's just the roguelike deck builder subgenre. Is that similar to Slay the Spire? I have it downloaded, but I have not tried it yet. I've not given it a whirl, but I've heard really good things. Digital TCG is great. Again, another gripe. Actually, yeah, figured, figured. It looks really good. Like, not art style-wise, I'm not huge on that. But the, uh, the gameplay loop seems real nice. But yeah, digital TCG, that is a really good... Idea sounds deep. Well, that, that's what happens when it's been probably a year since we've been the call, doesn't it? I think that's that's a fair understanding. You go, you guys go back to my old vods, um, Bowser's Inside Story, for example, and you're probably gonna be like, "Wow, how, how did this happen?" Like Jesus, <laughs> Inscription. I've I've heard of the. <laughs> I got recommended Inscription in a bathroom. Literally in a pub bathroom, I got recommended Inscription. I'd forgotten the name until now. Thank you, I'm screenshotting this and saving it for later. Because the guy's like, yeah, yeah, it'd be great. I'd, uh, I'd come to your stream if you were to do that. And I'm like, sweet man, I'll try and uh, I'll, I'll like, look into it. And then I just completely forgot about the name. And I've been trying to think of it since. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
literally a guy in a bathroom because like I knew him from a buddy right so we got talking because my buddy was there he's like yeah yeah here's this guy and then we got chatting and the, the topic came up because because the guy that I know he's watched my twitch streams a few times uh, his tag is Racine I think last time he was in was half a year ago chatting but he might be in more often lurking he was in the dreamland stream at least dreamland 2 so he, he's, he's in here a decent bit. I've eaten and drinking at a pub. Oh, I won't tell if you don't. But... <laughs> no, I, I can't. I got a club sandwich. It was delicious. But... But yeah, so we're, we're chatting and the guy's like, Yeah, well, um, you're so into games. This guy Twitch streams and he, he points at me, right? And he goes, Oh, have you tried this indie game inscription? I'm like, No, never even heard of it. I... I still really haven't looked into it. But yeah, that's how I that's how I came about learning about the game. So I prefer this year's magic cards. Is there a new Ravnica expansion coming out? If there is, I'll get a pack from the local place. I haven't been in there since twenty twenty two, man. Assassin's Creed, you're fucking with me. <laughs> you're shitting my bricks, bud. You're roasting my toast. You should do a nuclear throne. <laughs> Believe it or not, the second VOD on the VODs channel out of 120 now is nuclear throne. You can go back, take a look at that. It's been a minute. I will consider doing it again because it's an awesome game. But I recently played, I don't know if you've heard of it, but given the fact that you're you, Labradude, you've definitely heard of it. It's called RoboQuest, and it's a Doom-esque roguelike adventure. Not roguelike, roguelite. Wh whichever the one is that you can, can keep can keep your upgrades on the next one. Like, you, you get stuff in the run and you purchase the stuff for next time and it gives you a little boost. Like, you don't start from complete scratch. It's really cool. It's Doom-esque shooting. It's got a map. Really good uh, movement. You can, like, slide, cancel, jumps and shit. And there's so much customization. With the, uh, with the weapons. There's so much customization. And you upgrade them and they get stronger and have more range. Less bloom. But certain weapons can literally make you slower or faster. Depending on the weight of them. You can have dual weapons. Shoot that, uh... The longer you shoot it, the faster it will shoot. By, like, 80% extra speed. So cool. It's so cool. I've played, like, 20 minutes of it. And I think it's great. It's really nice. Ravnik is coming back quarter three? Mmm. Nice. Wait till senior year to get hands on Ezio card. <laughs> if, if you do manage to get Ezio in card form, please send me a picture. I would love to see that. And Sentinels of the Multiverse. Very neat. I will... I will try to remember that. But given my inscription story, I think you can... You, you can gather that I don't remember game names too well. Unless I write them down, which I'm currently having my game, having my hands on a video game controller. So I don't know if that's currently my objective. Weird games are bizarre ones, for the most part, yeah. As long as they're actually well crafted and can back up their odd concepts with good gameplay structure. Yes, I enjoy weird or bizarre games. I do. We're getting an all beast set in quarter two, which I pray that impervious. No! I, we do not need any more impervious great worm in this world. He can fuck off. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not looking. F I'm, not, I'm not looking to fight him, man. Please. The day he gets a, a, a reprint is the day that I go out to my local overpass and decide. Yeah, today's the day. He's gotten one reprint. That's one too many. Alex Jones is a Contra-esque game that just came out. Is that Alex Jones namesake coincidental? Or is this the, the politician making a video game? Honest. Honest. It's just card art. Yeah, yeah, but that means that more people are going to have access 
to... Oh, the politician, so, you, like, my, my first instinct wasn't a joke. Okay, cool, I thought it was a joke. My bad. Um, so, Alex Jones, the politician, actually has... A, like, a Contra-esque game on Steam. Wow. People aren't going to use him. They're not going to, but we're going to have more people that are able to use him. And that scares me. I don't agree with him, but I like his angry outburst. He is kind of funny at points. I mean, I think his, I think his views are like, you know, if I stuck my head in a toaster and started talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, I could probably speak a little more coherently than he could. But I, I won't lie when I say that his outbursts are a little humorous. It's, it's like watching Tucker Carlson. Like, you know he's absolutely full of shit. But he, he's got charisma, doesn't he? Galt the Primal Hunter. Wasn't it like Garrett? Or Gareth, Primal Hunter? He, he's the planeswalker either way, I know that. He seemed... Hunger. What? Oh, never mind. Dif different card. Different card. Zidano. Yeah, okay. See, see, Primal Hunter made me think of that, uh... The Planeswalker. NWO Wars. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Marjorie Taylor. Good dude. The chemicals in the water are turning the frickin' frogs gay. You hear me? It's all a conspiracy. The Democrats are poisoning our drinking water. It's just like you're sitting there and you're thinking, does he know what he's saying? Is he aware of what he's talking about? And then you just stop thinking and go, well, this is funny. <laughs> 12, 12, 4, 12. That lets you lessen up to 10 mana cost for your devotion to green. Hmm, where have I seen that before? Isn't that just a worse version of Great Worm? Because Great Worm, doesn't he cost 10 for 16, 16? And he can also use Devotion. Isn't that Dino just a worse version? Unless there's something I'm missing. So he can cost 2 mana to summon, yeah. Can't, uh, Great Worm as well. I mean, you think about it, I could make some green black deck where uh, I, I summon that monolith or whatever the hell he was. That face guy that we that you fought last week when we played. He was just completely able to summon like 12 1-1 one, one tokens every turn. That, w that was him, that was him. And, and you, you could just sum, you, you could just Throw the tokens out the window and be like, yeah, I'm gonna summon my guys for two. Impervious is Convoke, which means you tap creature. Oh, okay, okay. Right, right, yeah, my bad. Devotion is different from, uh, Convoke. My apologies. Not political one bit, this is an exception. I, I get you, trust me. I like to think the same way. I don't commend people. Or, uh... Commend is not the word. What am I thinking? I don't like to disregard people's thoughts based purely on political views. I think if you're a cool dude, you're a cool dude. Simple as. If you're nice to talk to, you're fun, you're kind, you're a decent human being. Like, like some random guy comes into Twitch, right? Say he's got like a political name. But he starts, like, talking nice. He's like, hey. Actually asks what's going on. How everything's doing. He's, like, providing good insight. Yeah, I'll like the guy. Because he's actually being a decent human being. You know, we're going to be, like, Punch Club. I've not heard of that one either. Yeah, Devotion is Man is Simple Sing. You got it. I do recall Devotion. I just forgot Convoke existed. So I was associating Devotion with Convoke. My bad, my bad. 
Gigantosaurus cost five forest, which means Gotha will cost seven. Which is, yeah, 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 you're right. Converted mana cost of all the forests. You're right. Shit, you EP little fuckwit. Oh, right, that, that's one exception to that political rule. I, do, I don't care how cool of a person you are. If you main EP on Garden Warfare 2, I want you extinguished, and I want you to never have kids. I just really hope that you stop procreating. As a bloodline. Just, just stop. Like Punch-Out, Fight Club, and Rocky, amalgamated but M-rated. Mm. What is the art style like? I'm not trying to cause any issues. Yeah, no, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. This is not about you. I'm, I'm not talking shit about you, Labradude. Please. <laughs> if I made it come off that way, then it's 110% not what I'm talking about. I'm cool with you describing gory games. I've, I've played Mortal Kombat on this stream, for God's sake. Like Mortal Kombat 11, not one of the earlier ones. So I, I think that most of the people here are, are, are all right. With at least to the extent of people's spines coming out. Pixel art, sweet. Oh, speaking of, I've, it's been an hour and seven minutes, and I have not mentioned this. I actually tried Celeste today. I played like the first three out of nine chapters. It took like just over an hour. It was really cool, it was great. I enjoyed it a lot. The movement was fantastic. I kept doing like these little wave dash shits to get across platforms and it was it was really fun. But the third level was restricted the movement a bit. It was more of a traditional Mario-esque platforming level. Which I, I can see the idea, but I don't think it works too well in the concept of Celeste. But I've heard chapter 4 gets back to the 1 and 2 sort of gameplay flow, which is really good. Really good. Three wasn't bad, I love the story, but I don't, I don't think it was executed amazing. Ori in the Blind Forest meets Fez and Ice Climber. Yeah, pretty much. Ori in the Blind Forest is also on this Xbox. Because, yeah, believe it or not, we are capture carding Xbox One now. Um, Here's Ori. There it is. And then down here's Celeste. I'm considering trying Dead Cells, and uh, Sea of Stars is what I really need to get back to. Like, really badly. I've been neglecting that game super duper hard. I don't want to play Welder. Who we? Yeah, General Supremo. I will, I will, don't worry. I've got about a month left on Game Pass Ultimate, and I would like to give it a go. Guarantee you'll love it. Yeah, I've seen I've seen three people who I'm close to say like, yeah, this game is great. Well, I say close to for one of them. I haven't talked to him in <laughs> Yeah, this is probably also three years. Current has it really been that long? I've got him friended on Switch. How have I not talked to this man for that long? It sells as Hollow Knight. I think that is an incredibly rudimentary description. Aren't they, like, completely different? <laughs> One is a cohesive 20-hour adventure. And the other is a roguelike. Yeah, I, I did see the Castlevania DLC. Doesn't, uh, doesn't Vampire Survivors also have Castlevania DLC now? Where, where did he go? Where... <laughs> where did he go? Yo, welcome in, Crocky. Great to see you. Here's another streamer. I think... I, I saw you live just before I went live. My apologies, Crocky. I, I apologize. I didn't hop in. My friend Meats rides <laughs> Dead Cell, so it has to be good. Thank you, Nutty Buddies for Life. Just for that username, I'm going to take everything you say to fact. So I appreciate the notion, and welcome in, great to see you. 
We always welcome uh, some first time chatters. Thank you for the hydrate. I got you. Feel free to stick around. We're just we're just fooling about talking about random games. Nothing really of merit. This is this is the one stream I've got where it's not going on my VOD channel. So you guys can just say whatever whatever shit you want. It's not, at least you know within reason, right? We can talk about whatever topics, and it's just not going to go up. No butter cookies. I was happy with what I reached today. Good, good on you, man. Good on you. I would have hopped in if I wasn't going live. Trust me. I saw Cronky the five T, and I said to myself, "Wow, I hope he's doing well." Cause you are great. Anybody not following him, he literally does play Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, you're oh sweet dude. Thank you, thank you so much. Nutty buddies for like, can I, where is he? I don't. Oh, that's unfortunate. You're not spreading the gospel of Nutty Buddy to the people of Garden Warfare too. <laughs> Appreciate you hopping in, though. How, how exactly did you find me? Did you look up my name online <laughs> from the game? If so, that is, like, super cool. Like, if, if people are doing that and I don't even have TV in my bio. Like, I'm the- Oh, sweet dude! Oh, let's go. No way. Let's fucking go. General Supremo, brother, I will protect you. <laughs> Get messed up, Citron. Can't play, wait to play this game. Which game are you talking about? Uh, oh yeah, Garden Warfare, right. I wish I could play it on Xbox with you. But of course, these crossplay things have to be so cringe. I'll also say... And I do apologize for this. I am not a General Supremo enjoyer. <coughs> I think he's alright. He's definitely better than the other uh, soldier I have left to master. Which is Sky Trooper, and I don't want to play that. But yeah, he, he's just second on my list to get to level 10. I can recommend something game-wise. Go for it. Feel free. Beat a boss without preparing for shit and I was just killing without thinking. What were you playing? I, I could have sworn you were on Yu-Gi-Oh. PVZ man, is it? Yo! Wait, 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 is that... My my guy, my guy. That That's him. Sweet. Let's fucking go. Welcome in, buddy. PVZ man. That's not what I thought his name... Oh, Elden Ring. Dude, dude, if you have any questions about Elden Ring... I got you. I beat every boss in that, pretty much. I think. I don't know, I never I, n I never looked through the map to see. But I did get the, the Elden Ring a trophy, which is like, hey, you got all the achievements, good job. So yeah, you got any questions? Come to me. I love that game. I would consider buying it a second time. Purely because of how good it was. How do you feel about playing Battlefront? I own Battlefront, like, three times I played it two days ago it's like my dad's favorite game ever you think I can beat the game with no armor and just <laughs> enjoy buddy I think you'd have better luck with just a, uh, a level one run at least there you can wear some Radon armor oh you shit it is fun, dude. It's really fun. I just wish... I really wish EA didn't botch the launch. So then, you know, it would actually be a supported game and we would maybe have a chance at Battlefront 3. But no, they said $80 for Darth Vader. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Roguelike dungeon crawler that feels like a mix of Terraria, Minecraft, and Undermine. Below the stone. That is a very loaded description. Sounds pretty cool. Sweet. Like, Battlefront is a good game. 
It's just, why, why do they budget? EA challenge everyone's wallets. No, 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 dude, that's not even judgment. That's literally facts. <laughs> Battlefront 2 got, like, absolutely bent over. And a rod stuck up the arse. Purely because EA was like, yeah, we're gonna make people pay for these gear pieces. Which I still remember, and I still own 40 of them. Which is why they're sitting on my Xbox save file. It, it just says 40 in the top corner. But you can't spend them, so it's just said 40 for like, 5 years. Because they just retconned everything you could possibly spend it on. As my first playthrough, I just decided to do that so I could say, yes, I threw hands with the bosses. Respect. Respect. I played first playthrough with all Radon armor and the Yuchi Katana. Which was so fun, by the way. I love it, I love it. Plays good, but Creed ruined it. Exactly. Gotta go. Take it easy, Crocky. Always, always a pleasure. Great to see you. And yeah, hope you pop in another time soon if I'm actually ever out damn live, which I haven't been. Yeah! Scourge. Suck an egg. Thank you for the hydrate. Let's take a... <coughs> Battlefront Droidicas, dude. Reels, reels. My dad would love you. Anytime he gets a chance to play the Droidica, he, he won't play the Master Chief Enforcer. Nah, nah. He just says, Droidica time. And he Droidicas all over the battlefield. So cool. He doesn't really, like, know when to hop out of the ball form, though. So sometimes he just ends up running into combat and just dying. Which is like, hey, fine enough, but, you know, just go around the corner, put up your shield first, and maybe, you know, you'll do some damage. I don't really like squadrons. Again, yeah, you're, you're right, Real. It is a flight sim. About, about as close as you can get to a Star Wars flight sim. But the Battlefront 2 Starfighter controls... They were just, they were just better. They were actually fun to control, which is what you need to get, by the way. You need to nail the fact that, hey, this is enjoyable, rather than, hey, this feels real. Like, wow, wow, this feels so real, I'm actually crashing into the wall. <laughs> wow, what a simulator, right? No, I, I, I just love when it feels tight, good. I mean, the, the, the Jedi games, though. <laughs> Nice, but not really for me. My brother loved them. Well, Snowships with the Adats. Reels, did you ever play the GameCube Star Wars game, Rogue Squadron 2? You could you could do that. This was, like, it came out, I think, it was one of the early GameCube games. I think it was, like, mid-02. And, like, that was one of the first cases where you could actually wrap around the game. Wrap around the game. Wrap around the Adats' legs. In game, and it was so cool. The missions were super in depth. <sighs> it was, it was, <sighs> chills just thinking about that. Yeah, realistic depends on the genre, time, and hardware when you can do it. I mean, Goldeneye said, Yeah, we're realistic. And then they, you know, it was Nintendo 64. I don't really know about that. Like, it looked, it, it looked good for the time. Do not ever get me wrong on that. But I will, again, we, we had this conversation earlier. I will forever hold stylized graphics. The first was Empire Strikes Back for the Super Nintendo. Christ, man. I own Super Star Wars 1. Which means you have Super Star Wars 2. I suppose, yeah, yeah, yeah. I own 4, you own 5. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Like, if somebody said to me, hey, do you want to play Crash Bandicoot or Goldeneye? What am I going to say? I love stylized graphics. And I think they work really well for the Crash series. Another one. <coughs> oh boy, we are getting into some some gaming hot takes. I apologize if anyone, if anyone's grandmother keels over just from hearing this. But I think... Knights of the Old Republic 
looks like someone took a deuce on the programming right right before they were supposed to release it. And they said, uh, the story will carry it anyway. Which is true. The game is really, 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 really good. But my god, if it isn't literally my number one suspect for a remake, I would be damned. That game needs a remake so bad. Which they were doing until Bioware also decided... I, I don't remember the specifics, so I just won't say it, just in case I get it wrong. But there was some internal stuff, and the remake by Bioware is just not happening. Which really sucks. I, I would have bought that frame one. PS5 Series X version. Of Knights of the Old Republic. Like, fully re- <laughs> they, All they have to redo is the graphics. Literally, that's it. Maybe gameplay aspects that haven't aged well, but there's not too many. I would- I would stream it. I would. It's such a beautiful game. It's just been left behind, so to speak. Oh, that's my teammate. Hello. Arkham Games. That's another one. You 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 lot keep bringing up games that I don't play as much, but my family does. My brother played Arkham City and Asylum, and then Some of Night. And they looked really cool. No Origins. But the rest of them were nice. And the way that they incorporated... The, uh, the stealth kill mechanics is very cool. Like, you're up on the wire, and all of a sudden, the guard is down below, and they've got these meters. Or, like, what was it? Different colors? Like, red, orange, green. Green was, like, safe to go down and kill. Yellow was, like, they're looking around, they're a little cautious. And then, uh... And then red was like they're actively looking at you. It was really, it was really neat. It was neat. Origins over Asylum. I'll take your word for it because I don't know. I haven't played it and I haven't seen anything of Origins. So, I mean, yeah, your your word wins over mine because you've at least had like two seconds of holding an Arkham game. <laughs> Something that I cannot say myself. Mm, you fucking twat. The intro, 10 out of 10. Good. Very good. <laughs> Traveling, what is it? Is it, is it? is it, is it, is it 10 out of 10? 8.5, okay. Was that SpongeBob? Is that... Sp this isn't a joke. Is this Icicle Spongebob? Give me a second. I've never noticed this in my life. Kill him. Come on. Oh shit, he didn't walk forward. I need to see Icicle Spongebob. I'm required by law to go and see. It's just, it's just over there, but there's Cactus, and he sees me, and Unicorn, who also sees me. Unicorn can't warp very far, but the fact that he just has Unicorn means he's good. SpongeBob! <laughs> Worth it. Combat 10 out of 10. See, that just sounds like Spider-Man 2. I can teleport across rooms by getting a hundred times combo. Yeah, well, I mean, what, what I'm saying is that sounds like Spider-Man 2 if the combat and uh, the traveling were reversed scores. Which, I don't know, I don't like the PlayStation 4 and 5 Spider-Man games very much. They are milestones. Do not get me wrong. They are gaming achievements. They're just not my style. Same with, I tried Final Fantasy 16's demo. It's really cool, 
But like 13 out of the 30 hours of the main story are cutscenes. And like, what, what, what would I have paid for? Would I have paid for a game or would I have paid for a movie? I could just watch all the cutscenes on YouTube. It's a 20 hour long video including like side cutscenes and shit. It's that long. Like Christ, what, what did I just pay for? What did I just buy? I'm glad I didn't. I was I was gearing up to go to the store and buy it that day. Pick up speed as you sweet hit combos. And does the speed increase <laughs> continue? Yo, welcome in J Dub. Great to see you. Oh my god. You're a legend, man. Fucking lad. Anybody here who's not following J-Dub, fantastic guy. If you have been pining for some Home Alone 2 speedruns, he's your man. Go see him if you want Wario's Woods, if you want any type of Mega Man, or if you want a genuinely nice person who has a pretty cool trading card collection. Please, please go check him out. I am a J-Dub fan and I'm not afraid to admit it. Hope your New Year's treating you well, treating you right, my friend. Thank you very much. Not too shabby. Oh, oh, shit! Yeah, yeah, Tasty Z, he's got some, uh... He's got some pretty sweet cards, let's just say. Not too bad here, man. How about yourself? You been alright? I, I haven't caught a J-Dub stream in a minute. I'm in the Discord, right? I should be getting notifications, but... Ooh! Oh, shit, just end the game right there. We don't need to see anybody, uh... That. Nobody's pawning for Home Alone 2 speedruns. Who are you talking about, man? I am pawning for them. <coughs> and I need to catch you. Let me look for you right now. If I'm muted at everyone, I'm gonna slap myself. Oh no, it's it just, there's just no at everyone. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, understood. I need to sort out my Twitch notifications then. There's a lot of people that I get notifications for and I just think, Oh, these are random people I don't go to. I'm gonna ignore that. And then underneath it's gonna be like, J-Dub went live. And I won't see it because I thought, Oh, a notification popped up and it's some random person. I did the most healing? Dude, congratulations. I got most revives. We did pretty good. We're the dream team. <coughs> Just chilling out of the games. Dude, I'm enjoying myself. Thank you. Thank you for following. I'm going to assume that is Nutty Buddies. Appreciate you. Absolute legend. And uh, let's have some more good General Supremo games, shall we? Don't think I announce when I go live on my Discord I'm a trash streamer. Don't you talk bad about that awesome man. Don't you do it. We love J Dub. We we love him. We love him. Just a personal opinion. Fair enough. Uh, don't don't worry, I just read that in my head. I'm just trying to kill a uh, fire cactus. So give me two seconds. I don't think I'm winning this fight. Nope, he can see me. I can't see him. YOLO. <laughs> okay. You know what? You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. So I think of cinematic games. Stories motivate playing those kinds of games. And the gameplay is a tasty middle section. I, I You know, I respect it. And there's a reason that the gaming industry is going the way it is. Spider-Man, Final Fantasy having more shit, right? Shit, by that I mean, I don't mean bad. I mean content, cutscene-wise. It's really just not my, uh, not my cup of tea. It's not what I prefer. When I, when I play a game, I want to be playing it 90% of the time. And the other 10% is like, maybe a cutscene or load times. Like, between, between this, you've got like two minutes of downtime between each game, right? 
Gives you time to have a breather, relax. Talk with chat. I certainly would not ever stream a cinematic game. It seems like a very uninteractive chat experience. And yeah, I don't know. I, I just like playing my games. If I were if I was going to pay for a movie, you know, I'd, I'd pop $13 in and go to the theater, right? Then again, I'm talking from Canada where a brand new game, AAA, is $101.69. So I think I'm somewhat justified in thinking maybe I don't want to pay that much for mostly cutscenes, right? Just, again, personal preference. And yeah, I'm, I'm feeling alright. I'm honestly feeling good today. It's just not quite good enough to, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. That was... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking fucking end it now. We we don't need any more gameplay. That was it. We can, <laughs> we can go home. Goodbye. Goodbye everybody. Thank you all for coming by. Really appreciate it. Tom Holland, man, what the fuck? I don't want to talk to you, bitch ass. Welcome in. Good to see you. You definitely don't, you know, live in the other room. But welcome in either way. Oh, you little prick. Splinter Cell is pretty sweet. I've never played a Splinter Cell game. Honest, I know, I know, I know. You might have to take me behind the Mackies and shoot me. But I've never, I've, I've never played one. Never in my life. talk about well yeah either way back to that cinematic game tangent because I, I just saw your message labradude yeah it's a hundred one dollars and sixty nine cents for a brand new game and half of it is a movie I know, I know. For you, it's probably, what, $72? Including tax? Really just makes me want to go down to the US, buy a game, come back, and end up spending less money on gas than I would buying the game up here. That's just what the exchange, what the exchange rate's like. It's horrible. We're buying the same game, but I'm, uh... I'm putting a little bit more blood, sweat, and tears into it. Five attacks is added. Ooh! Christ. <coughs> yep. New game here is... It's gonna be 90 for the future. But usually it was around 80. And yeah, it's about 10 bucks with tax. So waiting for sales is the way to go. The only times I ever buy a... A, a brand new game is if I really really think I'm gonna like it and enjoy it and get my money's worth of it Final Fantasy 16 I couldn't justify I, I couldn't really justify getting that for the $64 sale price because again I like there, there's a video on YouTube of just every cutscene and I don't know how much else I'd be missing out on if I want Final Fantasy action combat I'll probably just play 15. If I want MMO story type thing, then it's, uh, then I'm, I'm just gonna go for 14. And if I want actual gameplay, I'm gonna go for 6. It's simple as, that is 
just better than the rest. I'm playing the Final Fantasy 16 demo right now. What do you want, PS5 or Series X? I played it through PS5 for about 20 minutes. And the actual gameplay segments pissed me off. It's 20 seconds of walking and then you slide down the, like this little hill. And then you go into another cutscene. PS5. Hey, sweet man. Let me know how you think it looks. I think it's absolutely breathtaking and beautiful. There are these two cutscenes within the first 15-ish minutes that I think are absolutely wonderful. Just start it. Dude, you, you will absolutely love the visual fidelity of it. Let me, let me just tell you that right there. Even the opening is nice. Sure, it involves two buttons. Which, again, shows the interactivity level of it. But it looks so pretty. Enjoy. Thank you for the follow. I really need to set up names for follows, because I really don't know who just whoever does this. <laughs> but thank you so much. Hope you're doing well, new person. Because I... Oh God. That messes me up every time. I'm looking into the chat list, and I always think like, Oh, it's this person who's probably just followed. But when there's nobody new, or everybody is all, Yo, there, there they are! Welcome in... El Cholo Squinkle. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, like name. How are you? Not too shabby yourself. You a uh, Garden Warfare 2 player by chance? Waiting for Silk Song. <laughs> You're gonna be waiting a while. I started it because today my friend said to me, You have to play Final Fantasy 16. It's breathtaking. Yeah. Fair enough. I hate carnivores. You'll be welcome here. Because we, in fact, don't like zombies. I say as I'm playing Supremo, but... You know, it's it's easy to hate your own kind. God, I hate white guys. <coughs> Going down a Resident Evil rabbit hole. That was another demo I played. It was... How am I doing? I'm doing horrible. <laughs> in the game, in the game, I'm doing dog shit. But I played the, the Resident Evil 4 demo for the remake. It was really, really good. We love dinos. I do have a dino deck. I, I apologize, I do not speak Spanish because I'm a filthy, dirty little Canadian. And we were brought up speaking French in school. Which I still have no use for, so I apologize. You seem like... Oh shoot, yeah, I'm, I'm... I don't really know what half those words mean. I apologize. But either, like, either way, thank you for coming in. You seem to have somewhat of a... I am... Me what? <laughs> okay. Understood. Yeah, that makes sense. I got about half of that. New Turok. I love a new Turok. Last one was on PS2, original Xbox ish, right? Just that general era. We haven't had one in 20 years. <laughs> I think it'd be pretty sweet. No? 2008. Okay, so PS3, 360? Really? I had absolutely no idea. I will be right back. I need to, to piss. I'm gonna get some water, and I'll be right back with all of you.
Welcome back. Thank you all for your patience. All ten of you, goddamn. Really appreciate you. I, I know it's late for everybody, so... Just any of you sticking around here, really, it, it, it means a lot. It does. It makes sense that none of the British lads are here, because it is... 5.41 p.m. for them. Which is... Wow. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. We have a stream together. I do believe we have, if somebody wants to go back and check our former longest stream ever featuring Kirby Star Allies. Almost one in the morning. Same here, because we were both in the same time zone. Which is still pretty late. I won't lie. So, thank you all for being around. I always consider streaming with others. You know, a little BC thing, but I don't normally get around to it. Again, I'm, I'm sure you all know I'm mostly a solo type of... of stream... guy. But I'm never really opposed to any of the other stuff. My thoughts are also going down the shitter at the moment. I can feel it. I can feel it. I know. I sound like an absolute numpty. Don't worry. That's, uh... Not grazing past my head. <coughs> three player. Does Cockatrice allow for three player? If so, that sounds pretty sweet. Hey, you get back! Yeah, you little... <laughs> I don't know if I finish that. <coughs> oh, the teleporter. Right. <laughs> hey, buddy. <sighs> wow. I mean, yeah, if, if Cockatrice didn't support it, I would be more surprised. Because, <coughs> I mean, multiple player magic is just something that comes with the game. It's not something you could just toss to the wayside. Even if, sure, maybe you have shit net code. Four player commander, Christ. You want me to die? Good attempt, All Star. Good try. Unfortunately, you didn't place a wall first, you absolute numpty. So I'm afraid you did not cancel the burrow. Thank you for the hydrate. Do I still have it here? Do you want me to drink plain old water or some of this leftover monster white pineapple? Your choice. <laughs> yeah, boy. No, <laughs> <Go on. coughs> oh! not even the vamp weed saved me. Ouch. Saved by the bell. <laughs> Fine. I'll take it. 
dropped frames 857. Yikes. Sorry about that. You can make peace treaties in Commander, as in with multiple people. Word of mouth, fair enough. But, <coughs> like with multiple people, you can choose to just decide with one person. That is sweet. I like that. I mean, I, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to to make peace treaties. It, it's literally just, hey, if you, if you don't attack me, I won't attack you. That is all. I don't see why it would ever be illegal. Maybe unsportsmanlike in certain cases. Force them to play bad, as long as you're nice with them. Yeah. Sounds about right. <laughs> Starting to crash. I might go for like one more game. And then raid into Senran Sam, the absolute lad. He is currently on F099. He's been streaming that a fair bit, and I've had very good nights up watching him. So I'll probably just go to him, watch him till I sleep. Simple as, right? But I don't want to just cut it off immediately. Thank you for another hydrate. Again, you have a choice between two. But I'm still going to drink the water first, because I want to. <sighs> Why is it going to be Walnut Hills? Twice for the final. I mean, yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll play General Supremo. I'm not really against it. Yo, PVZ Man is still in here. Where is he at? Is it you? Is it you? How about you? No? He's already pushed. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, he, he's, he's the, uh, he's the dolphin, the marine. Yo! That's my guy. Hope you voice calls have done. It's been a minute, hasn't it? I mean, yeah, given your reaction, I suppose so. You haven't even been in here since Castle Crashers, so I don't blame you. Is it just... Okay, Labrador dude, is, is it coincidence or not that you come in during the late streams? Is this just what works with your schedule? Because I'm, I'm just realizing that now. My latest streams, Castle Crashers and this, have both had Labradoot appearances. I'd love to know whether or not that is coincidence. The bloom on this weapon is shit! <laughs> My god. He's right there. Mm. That is one I've not played in a minute. It's Arctic Trooper. He... No, I'm not... Just Chomper. My god. Yep, my brain's going. My brain is... Haywire it is gone. It is out of here. But, Arctic Chomper. Yeti Chomper, rather. I don't believe that I've played him since either 2016 or 2019. Thank you, thank you, thank you, PBC man. Nutty buddies. Appreciate you. You're a lad. You're a good one. Woo. 
Yeah! He's got the... He's got the moves. Why are there two drones? I mean, we got them. Shit. Of course it was the cactus. Almost had that Yeti chomper, too. Would have been able to save PBZ Man. Woo. Oh, it's great to have someone uh, in the stream playing. I'd love to have a lot of the the, uh, the lads like Alpha, Rage, a bunch of them in, but you know they're on PC, and there's no crossplay, which <laughs> sucks. That's one of the main things I just don't like about how EA handled this game. Lack of crossplay. Am I gonna spike weed? Are you shitting me? Thank you, thank you for the for the double res. I tried. <laughs> Vanquished by Big Black Man 4227. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Wouldn't have wanted to confuse him with a little white man. That would be preposterous. Yeah! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I respect it. PBZ man, you are my hero. Let the world know that Nutty Buddies is my savior. There's no way that didn't... <laughs> you retreated. Thank you, thank you. Back lines. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Besides Garden Warfare, what else catches my eye? Specifically around now, like my recent gaming adventures, I've been feeling a little burnt out. Games, I guess I can't really say burnt out on stream, I haven't been streaming much, so that's not the, the right term. But a lot of games, I just kind of, I kind of play them and I don't feel fulfilled. I did 100% crash yesterday, Crash Bandicoot 1. That ain't a lot of retro, but I think you playing story style games would be fun. I, I did state my gripes with that earlier, right? I I think I've kinda left some story stuff in the in the back. I left Paper Mario. Uh I I did the remaster on Ensane. So I can get the platinum, right? A hundred percent of the actual game, and now all I need is relics which I spent two hours last night <coughs> on the level fumbling in the dark which if you recall is the offshoot of light out gained by getting the key in Jaws of Darkness now because this is a completely optional level the devs decided yes we're going to make it bullshit and not worth your fucking time so I spent two hours on this, trying to get the platinum, and I got 0 0.15 seconds off from the plat. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not shitting you. 0 0.15 seconds off. I was 16 seconds past the gold. This run I was sweating all over the controller. 0 0.15, yep, you heard me. 
And this was... I got 1.4... Like, 1 minute 41 seconds. Point, like, 7 something. And I would be was so close. That would be really pissing me off, right? Rightfully frustrated and salty. Yeah, yeah, you get it. I'll do one more. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, uh... I'm feeling the conversations. But yeah, there, there are a few games that I'd still like to go through. Punch Out Wii. I still do... I, I still do want to go forward. On that. Uh, I transferred stuff back to the main stick. So hopefully it works. But I can't guarantee it. And Paper Mario. I lost the save. And it's been a year and a half. So I really don't know what's going on with that. <coughs> I've tried importing an old save. Nada, because it doesn't exist. I've tried importing somebody else's save. Nope, it's for the wrong emulator. So I'm going to have to work some genie magic. To get my Chapter 6 Paper Mario save on there. Because I'm, I'm a little bit mad about that. I, I do want to play to the end of it. It's currently sitting in my list of incomplete stream games. And I, I don't want it to be there. What happened? I don't know. I never updated it. I never did a damn thing. And just the path where the save file usually is, it's just not there. And Project 64, that is what I was using. I wasn't using Mupin. It's just, it's just gone. And I don't know why. Could it be there was an update that changed a path? Perhaps. Though I did look up the save file name. Through my whole PC, right? Even my external drive, which is 1.5 terabytes of content. And it was not there. There was no... There was no Paper Mario save file on my hard drive. Very unfortunate. I, d I just don't know where it is, so... We'll just... I, I might just have to import some random guys. Chapter 6. <coughs> You'd like Tonic Trouble? I don't think... That, that game doesn't recognize... I don't recognize the game. Blah. And yeah, see, I, I did import a Project 64 save to that file. To the folder that I thought it was. And it just didn't go in. It, w it was in the right format for Project 64 as well. So I really don't know what was up with that. I suppose the more I mess around with, the more I'll find out about it. What was one of the other games? Let me take a look. Trippy 3D platformer that was fun yet had a dumb acid trip-esque story. Yeah, wow, I, I've not heard of Tonic Trouble. Mega Man X2, I actually just need to get back to that. <laughs> like, <laughs> there, there's no excuse. I need to get back. The game kicked my ass. I just need to get back to it and, uh, and try and find sub tanks. I didn't have a single sub tank. I had, like, two heart pieces. I had none of the armor. So I got absolutely, like, booty clapped on the second fortress boss. It was sad to see. It was a real shame, but I, I do want to complete the game. Because it, it's a nice thing to add to the repertoire. So that's another game sent to the wayside. Similar Rayman even made by Ubisoft. Ooh. <coughs> and when did this come out? Yeah, yeah we're on this point. Where's everybody? Oh. How did I miss that? I'm ashamed.
thank you both, J Dub and the Labradude, for for being up and watching and watching this final bit. I appreciate it. Like every moment of all of your time. It does not go unnoticed. And like, really, this is how you guys choose to spend your night? Sorry, but thank you. Nineteen ninety nine. Tonic Trouble ninety nine. It's not ringing. It's not ringing any bells at all. None. Quick look at Corn Kids 64. Not a real 64 game, but it's a lot like one and it's on Steam. And is it made with like similar polygonal values and limits? I, I love when uh, when spiritual games do that. They'd, oh, sweet! That is awesome. Because then like they take the initial limits. Yeah, yeah, that that's... I, I couldn't have said it better myself. If you're playing a game... That's inspired by something, and it feels like it could run on it. That is what I love that. And it's what I love about it. Is it mm, feels so good. You're sitting there thinking, wow, this person made this game for this way more modern console or platform like PC. And they made it feel like it could have worked on on an older console, like 64. That is really cool, and just purely because you've said that, I will... Look into it. Thank you. How- wh Oh my god. What is he at? Eight. I don't like General Supremo. Thank god I have to sw I can switch off him now. No imps. No brains. I'm not playing Shark Bite. Whether it could or not, I don't know. I, I doubt that it really would, but if someone were to strip it down a little bit, I'm, I'm sure that uh, it would remain fairly intact. Let's see. Yeah, archaeologist for the final bit. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to copy that link. There's like 30 seconds left unless they decide, hey, we're going to play good, which they might do right now. And it seems like they could. No! Don't eat me. Thanks. Also, boobs, that is all. Thank you for putting your catchphrase in here. Really appreciate it. I will consider adding that your catchphrase to my channel biography. I've been doing that with a bunch of things recently. I've got buddies who will put things, add on to a name, whatnot. Screw it. Why is the channel biography going to be about, about me? Why is it going to be about me? Why, why can't it be about you guys? And all the weird shit that you pump out. We do just use anime or cartoon ones that aren't too raunchy. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. It, it's usually from, from buddies that do that. Like Alpha MK, who you'll probably see in about two minutes in Senran Sam's stream. He's, uh, he, he's big on the... Raunchy, isn't he? He was playing... Oh, and you've heard of this. You've heard of this. He was playing Rants on stream the other day. But he's been playing Baldur's Gate as well. And the Penis Stone Adventures. I told you about it? When did it... Okay. On here, it was like three or four days ago. It was the second. Yeah, yeah, he was playing Rants. Yeah. Oh, I did, okay. Yeah, so he, he played Rants 1. A decent bit of it. Yeah, like, on Twitch. I was a little surprised that he could do that. But, hey. Who, who am I to, to judge the master at work? Phallic and... Oh, no, Penis Stone. Or Penis Stone, as the British say. Ooh. Um, this is their, their family in Baldur's Gate. There's four people that play, they're in, a, they're in a VC, and they're all the penis stones. So, 
Because I had said at one point that, hey guys, my real name is Kragner. I don't remember why, because he asked for real names. And I came up with it on the spot. Yes, he did it on purpose. Um... <coughs> So he's like, yeah, let's get Kragner Penis Stone on here. And I ended up adding that. Yeah, yeah, Baldur's Gate. Beautiful shitpost. It's great. Also, we, we bought something. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all day. Koala of Darkness is very cool. But the reason I bought the Outback Bonnet is because you can only get the ones in the second slot from Rux. And the one in the third slot you can get from 35k packs. So I'm forced to pay inexorbitant prices for this man's hats. Zombie be good, yeah. Oh shit, yeah, I didn't buy that. Sweet. Thank you for reminding me. Either way, let's gamble. Isn't this what we all come to the stream for? Another thing I do have to do in the future is <coughs> Luigi's Picture Poker. I did ask did not know that. Well, now you know. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll go back in. It's always the second slot that he only sells from Rux. And that's why they cost 500,000, right? And then the 300,000 ones you can get somewhere else, which is why he's like, hey, I'm gonna... I'm gonna lower the price, because I know you can get it somewhere else. Like, cool, I'm not gonna buy it, but thank you. So there's some, there's the knowledge. I've also got all the abilities, which is why the first one is a classic item. Luigi's Mansion mod. Dark Moon HD, right? It looks, mm, it looks good. <coughs> Let's open two more and then we can, uh, we can raid out. Nothing special except for, ooh. Canada. Luigi's Mansion. It's lucky to exist as a series, and I respect it so much. Final pack. If it's a legendary character, I'm probably going to scream. Be warned. I've been waiting for a legendary for a while. Please. No, but this is even better. Look at that. Mm, look at that scrumptious gold head. You, see see if, if you look real close. You look like... Sorry, this is going to take me a minute. If you look really, really close, you can see it's gold because of the tooth. See, see, they see, see that's why it's that's why it's gold because of the tooth. They didn't bother to change anything else about it. Like, oh, what what, what do we do? What do we do? Do we make the uh, the patch? Do we do we make that gold? How about the eyes? No, no, the back of the head. No, how about the teeth? Oh, the mask, eh? Isn't it? Um, cool hair, cool hair. Very cool hair that I use on snipers so that I can't see what I'm doing. Cool hat. Awesome. Decent. Heel flower. Very good pack. <laughs> Very nice. With that, we will end off here. Thank every single one of you who came in. I don't care if you were here for two seconds, or if you've been here for two hours, ten minutes, thirty-six seconds. Thank you so much. Nutty buddies for life. Thank you as well for absolutely bobbing me with those revives and heals. You're a legend, man, and I hope to see you in some other time. We don't always play Garden Warfare. In fact, it's not even usually one of the things we play. We're pretty variety. But, yeah, I, I love this I love this game so much. So, yeah, go for it. Feel free to add me. I'll, I'll play sometime. Wonderful to see you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Same to you. It's been a minute, so it's good to catch up. Always a pleasure. And I hope to stream again soon. Catch all of you. Yep, we are outing PvZ Man. Thank you. Thank you. So down for that. I'll add you right after, uh, right after I peace. Right out to Sam's. So yeah, thank you all for coming by. If you feel like uh, catching up with the Discord, feel free. And I will catch you all later. Peace.